acres Ray Kelly and them lived in. It was back here against the woods. You can still see the telephone pole over there kind of in the woods and the weeds where it used to hook up to. Not L even. Later, if you want to see the mill, later if you want to see the mill and you want to look at the dam the house mill is named after, there's a trail right down here. You can walk down there and get pictures of the mill later after tour if you'd like to see it. But it's right over here in the river. river the Mud River does a big horseshoe around our property. But the dining hall right here you were eating uh, your lunch in was built in 87 to 89 and used in the summer of 89 for the first time. So that's where our dining hall has been and where we do all of our meals now. This shelter was built in 99. Danny Evans built this right before he left and went to start being the full-time minister of Farmdale. A lot of churches use it for picnics. We also use it in the summer if it's raining. We can still do campfire underneath here pavilion even if it's raining. And a lot of times winter retreats still if it's even cold bad weather can still do a campfire in there as well. The pool was built in 77. We just remodeled it two years ago. We had a generous donor give us a $20,000 matching pledge. And a lot of people in our churches and, and mailing list uh, mailed out uh, money and we raised another 29,000. So we had 49,000, we replumbed the pool. A lot of the old plumbing in it was, in the, it was built in the 70s. So a lot of it was metal pipe that was rusting. You turn the pool on and you'd see little geysers in different places around the pool. So we replumbed it built the pool house and added some nice bathrooms, extended some of the concrete you can see with some seating areas, and put a new fence and LED lights up so for nighttime baptisms and night swims, it's a lot better lit up than it used to be. And then this playground right here, a lot of our day campers and younger campers get a play at, and a lot of our church picnics kind of hang out right here. They'll have their food either inside or outside. I've had churches come and have people sing in here. Uh, Gateway Christian Church where we attend, sometimes they have people come here and sing while people are out here in chairs and kids are playing around. Uh, but if you still attend any churches locally, a lot of our supporting churches in the fall still rent camp for a Saturday or a Sunday for a picnic. And usually, if they're supporting churches, we have all many men on that front. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I was gonna try. Oh. I was gonna try to get all oh, over that one. <laughs> Jamie's leading me astray. Do you remember? Do you tell me how you did that? So they can come back to camp and see something that they helped do. So a couple years ago, elementary school camp built these new benches so we could seat a few more. We've done a few fall weddings out here because of this. Uh, my secretary Brenda, her son worked here three or four years and then got married here, had pretty hay bales, and just a really pretty fall wedding here. And then where we used to do baptisms down here a couple years ago, we built this Sunday. The guy up like Jesus in a white robe and have him hide over behind those rocks. And then because of that natural rock shelf you see right there, you okay? There was a hole. There was a missing board. Oh, gosh. I'm fine. Michelle threw. In the dark, it looked like he was walking on the water because he was just walking right on that rock shelf. So some neat things have happened down here. We even had two baptisms the last year where people, the campers said, Jesus was baptized in a Jordan River. We read about that. I'd like to be baptized in the river, not the pool. And the joke that I usually... I, I'm just saying. I never came up in here. <laughs> I've seen you up in here before. No. <laughs> we got don't have church camp like we had it why we have so many adults during night games. <laughs> this is nice down here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we, we've always wanted to build more permanent benches here or bleachers, but this is all floodplain. When that river flooded, where I showed you where we were standing, the water was all the way up to where we keep our wood work close to the side as we can. So we've never invested a lot of money because the center blocks will stay and we may lose a few old boards, but we've never invested a lot here because it is in our floodplain.